All right, it's time for Play City Skylines. Another uh, relatively quick one today. All right, let's go to one of the other radio stations. We've listened to this one a little too much. We'll do Smooth Beat. All right, um, so I think what I'm going to do... Um, I was trying to think, how do I want to proceed? Especially since um, speeding things up didn't seem to actually speed things up. Um, and we still have our death wave going on. Uh, so I think what I'd like to do is revamp things so that I'm kind of um, respecting the road hierarchy a little bit better. Um, and oh yeah, that's right. We had a tornado somewhere before. Um, so perhaps, and it's so dark, I'm having trouble finding the river here. Um, river is over here. All right. So perhaps what I'll do is I will start with Meadow Acres and see what makes sense here. So. Um, here we've got Elm Street, which goes to um, highways, making it an arterial. Um, like I said before, I've got this train station here, as, as well as the, the bypass. So we, we, had, we can have two different lines stop here, and then we can also have the bypass happen. We're going to leave that alone. Um, all right, so... Uh, let me see. Let me also take some notes on my laptop so that um, I have an idea of what I have done and what I will do. So, you just move that here so that it's next to the computer that I'm using for City Skylines and load up my City Skylines dock. Uh, while while we um, wait for this death wave to happen very very slowly um, all right so yeah so we'll start with Meadow Acres which is over here what have we got here oh yeah we've got a train tracks going that way um, all right so uh, ideally what we what we want is to not have um, businesses, etc., that are on that are coming onto um, arterials and connectors because that's going to create traffic instead of letting cars go down those roads to get to where they want to go. So, um, if we say here that Elm Street is a um, what was that? Upkeep? Okay. Um, <coughs> if this is an arterial, then that's the wrong button. Uh, I guess what I would be, but I had the mods that would allow me to say what side of the street can have, um, People zone zoning on there, but maybe I don't. Let's see. Replace. No. All right. So what I'm gonna do then is be just be a little destructive here. I'm gonna uh, get rid of this commercial that opens. Oops. I need to dezone it. Uh, so we'll go because so otherwise it's gonna keep going back. So I'm gonna basically dezone these guys. And bulldoze them. The dezoning did not take, apparently. There we go. And I also killed Elm Street by accident. Um. There we go. All right, Elm Street's back. Um, so, uh, maybe I just need to stay away from that road, essentially. 
and then I would put a plaza in the middle, but I believe in the current city skylines, um, it requires um, uh, a connection to the street, a direct connection to the street, which I don't want to do. Um, so, so there we go. So we've got Elm Street there like that. Um, the other thing I was thinking, so we definitely don't want this business right here. Um, let's see. There we go. Um, the other thing I was thinking, I may not do it just yet, but I've got all these um, trams going through and at least in the past, it was causing a ton of traffic. Um, all right, so what I want to do here, all right, yeah, let me, let me back it up. Let me get back over here and get rid of this building. Um, so we will, we'll let there be, um, traffic lights here because I'm going to consider this to be a collector. Um, but here I'm going to take off get off and just let it be um, a yield onto onto our main road here and we'll do the same there and this should also relieve the traffic here if we take that off from there right meaning people will have to um, there we go all right We've got a highway that's going, is it going underground? What's going on here? Oh, no, it's not going underground. Okay. Uh, we just have this stupid situation here. Okay. And we've got cars going the other way, completely getting stuck. We'll have to deal with that later. All right. So also here we want to get rid of the traffic light which should also allow traffic to go much faster. pause stuff to barely had to take care of something with the family. All right, so that seems to have fixed the situation on Elm Street. No more traffic. Now that the arterial has right of way, we definitely need it here though, which we do have um, a very wide thing where there's a lot of stuff happening. All right, well, let's get back to where we were over here. Right. Uh, the other thing, and I should have done this before. Um, City Planner Plays talks about this a lot. When um, when businesses get like knocked down because of um, changes, they usually get um, upzoned. So we'll do that for those guys. 
Um, which un is unfortunate because um, things are going slowly, even though I have it on the fastest speed. Maybe let me just check the options. Maybe something got weird on the options. Hmm. Well, and yeah, maybe my computer's just not strong enough? I don't know. Alright. So, anywho. So, we've got our collector here. Um, so, it did not put any uh, traffic lights there or there or there. Alright, I think we're good there. I think it considers those to be, like, equivalent streets. So, it didn't add any... Um, all right, cool. Um, so technically, uh, let me just get rid of these guys because there we go. All right. Um, we shouldn't have businesses that open onto our collector either. Don't this, I guess this one does. This one doesn't. This one definitely appears to. Actually, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, but the, this block is so big that if I got rid of this, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be able to exist. So we'll just let those continue. Um, for now, anyway, we may end up restructuring things in the future. This guy, however, which is uh, <laughs> Neckbeard Mike's comics, all right. Um, this one can be dezone, and then uh, rezoned. I guess it can't be rezoned that way, but that's okay. We'll just leave it then. All right, we've got these guys. All right, so all in all, it's not like horrible for what it should be. Um. Alright, we do, or we sh we should, um... <laughs> That's bizarre looking. Uh, we do want to increase the amount of people living here. Um, Alright, this is... So now we're, we're moving on to sunny side view. Um, let's see what we can do for these citizens here. All right. Um, we've got our city hall here. Yep. Yeah. All right. We've got some high residential here. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at what we've got. Okay. A train coming through. All right, so this one here is a... I want to say it's probably medium density. Let's take a look and see, but it, it doesn't seem right. Let's see, low rent high density. Can we throw one in here? may have the added benefit of getting rid of the dead people. <laughs> All right, what have we got here? We got some row homes here. Cypress. Some more row homes here. All right. I think if we can fit one of the new small parking lots here, let's see if we can. Should help uh, some of the folks that are um, are living here. Right. So our high density needs remain. Uh, we got here. We got our fire station. 
in a police headquarters with a jail. An extra jail, I guess I should say. Alright. Um, Alright, let me zoom out and just as I take a look at... Oh, I guess... Let's continue Elm Street then, as we're here. So, I may decide to get rid of this tram and just have um, subways because of how dense things are here, but I, I could be wrong on that um, desire. All right, so technically, I don't want too many businesses on Elm itself. That said, um, we may not have a choice in terms of like where these things want to zone uh, because of uh, the vagaries of the way zoning works in City Skylines. Right. But let me think here. So this is definitely like an arterial meets an arterial type of thing. We want to leave the um, traffic lights there. Here, I'm pretty sure we don't want traffic lights. And uh, same thing here. Keep things flowing. All right. Have we reached the end of Sunny? Looks like we're pretty close to the end of Sunny, yeah. Um, so I think I will at least take advantage of this and put this school onto Belmont Street, and switch to the urban school. Um, this one is, let's see, not 100% full. So we, but we need to have, accommodate at least 700. So we'll get rid of that building. And we'll come over here. The urban elementary, which we can fit in a much smaller space. We'll put onto Belmont. There we go. And that frees up a lot more very important real estate. So this can fit how many? One, oh, plenty, plenty. All right. But also, uh, only here, you. Um, so we've got some office demand. Go ahead and zone our high density office here. Um, and then over here, we've got a firehouse. We've got a little tiny house right here, which is kind of funny. Uh, we've got. Looks like two commercials going up. I mean, um, office spaces. Uh, so yeah, we don't want anything here. But on this side, this would probably be prime real estate. Like if we had like some residents, the people on the river side of this building can look out on the river. They would probably really like that. Um. So that does leave us with some wasted space back here. But again, since parks need to be connected to roads until they change that, um, we're, we're kind of stuck in that sense. Although, I guess maybe it would be valid to have a parking lot. Maybe people come off. No, that doesn't seem right off an arterial, I don't think. But, but maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's, you know what, let's do it. If it turns out to be a huge, um, traffic issue we can we can correct that um let's see yes i guess a tiny tiny seems wrong uh just uh, there we go that seems like the right amount of parking or at least a better amount of parking and it kind of kind of seamlessly collects what connects with that one except that that one has a fence around it um, let's, let's throw some greenery back here. Yeah. And 
Mm, let's see back here we'll use the line tool. Okay. No, we need to move over to a good better starting spot. them spaced much closer together. Thank you. Fence mode, please. Uh, no, closer. Oh, there we go. That's more of like what I wanted. There you go. I want to do the same thing here. All right. Did that happen or not? I can't tell. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. All right. I'm just at about the deadline that I gave myself. Um, all right, so we're definitely not going to have this be, oh, or I, I really want to take advantage of, uh, zoning this to have the tree inside or whatever. Let's see. A large, nope. A very large trees. There you go. Much better. Much nicer. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. So we'll, we'll continue working in here. Um, next time. So I guess let's, let's grab if there are any cards over here. Here we go. Let's see our. Let's see what we've done here. I feel like we were following a white card before, but I could be last episode, but I could be wrong. like he went in a, pardon the city building pun, roundabout way of doing that. Boy, I didn't realize the grade on this was so high. This looks crazy, especially with the, um, the uh, trams on the middle. Oh, I see a train or something going by below us. Interesting. Well, I guess that's part of what these uh, ride-alongs help you kind of see, like, the, as... City planner Phil calls them bumpies and lumpies, right? That's kind of weird looking. I wonder if this guy's going onto the highway. He's definitely up and above. You know, in, um, yeah, I think he is on the highway now. In answer to him going around roundabout, um, city planner Phil did say that the cars choose the fastest route, not the shortest route. So if that one happened to be better for some reason. Oh, looks like there's um, maybe a uh, road maintenance vehicle there. I know road maintenance, road maintenance vehicles tend to slow traffic because um, cars get stuck behind them. Luckily, not the one we were following, though. Let's see where he goes. He's not getting off on that exit. I do like how the city looks here though. Like you see the tops of the trees, um, you see these tall buildings here. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how things look. We'll, we'll continue evolving the city as, as we go. All right, well, this has been Eric Plain, City Skylines. I will see you next time. Goodbye.